Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you the best and easiest tools used to modify your 3D geometry. So just to get started I'm going to go to the top plane on my view queue, looking down on my dating point and I'm going to create a sketch on that plane and I'm going to draw a go up to rectangle, two point rectangle, I'm going to click on the date and point and I'm going to type in 500, press tab and press 500 again. So now I have a 500 square. I'm going to go up and tick finish sketch and then we'll just make it 3D so you can see what I'm doing a little better. And so now I have a 2D square on the bottom plane. I'm going to click extrude and I'm going to extrude it 500 mil. So now I have a 500 mil cube. Nice and simple. If you've got any, obviously, modeling knowledge, that should be nice and easy to do. If not, um, I, there is also a basic tutorial. Um, if you're just starting out with Autodesk Fusion, which I'll go, which I'll leave a link at the top. Click on that. Watch that first before we you go into modifying 3D geometry. So now modifying 3d geometry so i've got a cube here that i'd like to modify so the, the modify toolbar is here it's got lots of tools in it we'll go through most of them but to get started a, a nice simple one is press pull comes in handy quite a lot so if you have a shape or geometry you click press pull and your selection box comes up here so it's asking me to select a face if i select a face you can graphically then pull it out or type in uh, the change so now that face has been pulled out 150 mil so it's a nice quick tool and if you ever need to use it quickly it, you use the Q button to shortcut it and it'll come up straight away I'll pull it 100 mil there press OK so now I've changed the sizes of the length has gone to 600 and 650 so I've changed the actual geometry of the cube Another great tool here is fillet. So there's a few ways you can select your fillet edges and they come up in this list. You can either select an entire face and I'll put them at 20 mil. So you can see I've got a 20 milli, milli, sorry, 20 millimeter fillet going all the way around. And then, but you can also select individual edges. For example, if I wanted to select here, just that one edge and I'll make that uh, 40 millimeter. So then it's done all, all my fillet selections. So another great thing you can do with this tool is you can actually select entire bodies. So what I'll do is I will delete my uh, previous two selections and I'm gonna select the entire body apart from those two faces so I've got four four edges, four faces. I'm going to put it at 50 just to show you. So there you can see I've now put fillets on every edge of the cube. And it was quite easy. It was just a couple of, it was in theory two clicks. So that's a really good tool. I'm just going to delete those fillets off. Another, another great tool is shell. So to shell the body, it's asking you for a face. So if I click this top face, that the top face will disappear and then every other face on the cube will be thickened by 20 mil if I type 20 mil. And then you've got your direction at the bottom. So inside, outside, or both ways. So we'll just leave it on inside and press OK. So now that's a hollow box using the shell tool. I'll just delete that while we carry on going through the features. You've also got combine. So this is if you've got a multi-bodied part. I can join and combine. So if I, I'm just going to sketch a cylinder on this face. Finish that sketch. And I'm just going to extrude it. So now I have a circular cylinder part and the cube part. So that's all bit around so you can see that a little bit better. So now if you go and combine, 
you can actually create a new component so that creates it all as one body you can cut it the red's obviously the one that disappears so you can change that round by changing your target body for example if i want the target body to be the cube and then the tool body to be the cylinder i've got two selected there target body the cube and then the tool body the cylinder that's it so the red disappears and you can see it actually cuts through the cube in the preview but it depends obviously what you're modeling and how complex the shapes are but that can this combined cut or combined uh, parts can come in really can come in handy so i'm just going to leave it for simplicity like that press ok so now i've got a hole going straight through the cube so now you have now you've used the combine tool to cut a hole through. I know you could do, use other tools, but there's this similar, other similar ones as well. You can use the split body tool. So if I draw, a, for example, a sketch on this face and draw a line for the middle of the cube. Tick. And then I go split body. I can click the body, click the tool. And now if I, so basically I've, I've clicked the body, selected the body to split up here on the right and the splitting tool, which is the line. If I press OK, it then splits it into two bodies. So if I go up to bodies here, I've now got two bodies to work with. So that comes in handy. So I'll make sure I can see them both. You can also do draft. So you can just add draft to surfaces. quite easily to select two sides and then put your angle of degrees in you can either be positive or negative and then obviously if you go too far you get a little error and the last one i'll show you is move and copy so if you ever need to move a specific part so now i've got two parts it comes in handy sometimes to be able to move the bodies so what you can do is actually move once you've modeled something move it and maybe copy it because what you can do is create click create copy as well um so you can pick what object you'd like to move so you can actually do it with sketch components faces bodies and component components as well but then you can also rotate rotate it using these handles if you need to or you can just fill it in on the on the section below I hope this little basic tutorial on modifying 3D geometries you found helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.